Are we really still living in the end if we're creating intentions? The answer is yes, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So I'm a law of attraction coach, and today we're talking about creating intentions and living from the end. So basically a mental diet of living from the end. So if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Each one of them designed to help you create something wonderful in your life. And there is coaching available. Take a look in the description below. The links are there. So you know what? Living from the end, okay? So living from the end, yes, we visualize what we want and we intend for it to materialize in our 3D world. However, another part of living from the end that is overlooked is our second to second minute to minute thoughts because really, you know, our thoughts create, okay? And every single thought that you have actually creates a visualization in your mind, okay? So if I was to say to you right now, don't think of a blue duck, you just thought of a blue duck. Sure, maybe it had a yellow bill, some purple feet, or you tried to think of a purple duck. Regardless, that created a visualization in your mind, okay? So every thought that you have is creating a visualization in your mind. And we want to create our intentions living from the end, okay? So how do we put living from the end into our everyday mental diet where our mental diets are supposed to be created from the end, okay? So how you create any mental diet and intentions in your life is you say you ask yourself this question if i was in a committed relationship with jerry what would my thoughts be okay so would my thoughts be he doesn't want a commitment no my thought would be he wants a commitment with me would my thought be i'm not good enough no my thought would be of course i'm good enough right um you know would it be he doesn't want me no, if I was in a committed relationship with Jerry, my thought would be like, yeah, this teddy bear really wants me, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, would it be? So basically what we want to do when we create any mental diet is we want to create it from the end, okay? So from the end of if you already had that, okay? So for instance, if you're working on your health, what would your thoughts be? <laughs> I'm perfectly healthy, <laughs> And you want to make sure that your mental diet consists of only thoughts of living from the end, you know. So I, I get it, you know. Um, so for instance, right, you know, the, just to address, you know, it's like, well, should we, mat you know, um, manifest a, a, a text message? Is that living from the end? Well, let's go with this, okay? If you're sitting there thinking, oh, you know what? He never calls me. He never texts me. Well, is that thought living from the end of being in a relationship? No, in a relationship, you would be like, oh, he calls me and texts me all the time. Of course, we talk every day. So manifesting communication and manifesting seeing a person is actually living from the end. So when we're truly living from the end, we're keeping all of our thoughts that we have second to second, minute to minute into thoughts that we would have if we already had what we're looking to manifest. Sure, at first, it's going to be a little bit of a ping pong match. So a mental diet will look like this, like, oh, why hasn't he called me today yet? No, I know he's going to call me. Oh, why doesn't he want to be in a relationship with me? No, he does want to be in a relationship with me because I am good enough, right? You know, is this working? Yes, I know this is working because my thoughts create. This is going to happen. Of course, he's going to call me, right? You look at the phone. Oh, it's been like five hours and he's ignoring me. He doesn't want to talk to me. No, he does want to talk to me. He is going to call me. He is going to text me. So, you know, um, so that's what a mental diet is. A mental diet is asking yourself, do you really want to create that and making sure that every thought that you have is coming from the end of already having that. So yes, living from the end is creating a visualization and seeing him beside you and, and visualizing your marriage or visualizing that first date, whatever end you want to create, because the end doesn't always have to be marriage. An end can be a date. An end can be getting a job. An end can be just successfully getting through the interview and you can always change the end as you go because really life is just a series of ends but furthermore better like even like the better than just visualizing it is making sure that every single thought that you have is 
in line with that end and living from that end because every thought that you have actually creates a visualization in your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind only sees in pictures. It does not hear words. It just sees pictures, okay? And so the other thing about feeling is, yes, once you're starting to create, I'm good enough, I'm appreciated. Of course he wants to be with me. Of course we're in a relationship together. Of course he loves spending his time with me. Just by creating those intentions, you will automatically start to create the feelings that come along with it. So, you know, you don't need to worry about feeling it so much as making sure that you're focusing on it and your thoughts are in line with that. Because once your thoughts are in line with that, your thoughts will actually end up creating your emotions automatically, right? So the first thing is, is to create your mental diet and only entertain thoughts that are living from the end of already having what you want. Anyways, that's my video for today. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. And I intend that this video is going to clear up a lot of questions for everybody. And everyone is going to create something wonderful in their lives from it. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.